Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I just wanted to show you a little stamp collaging. You can see I used lots of the images from the Timeless Texture stamp set on this card as I just sort of collaged it together with that fabulous greeting, thanks kindly. So I'm going to show you how I created this fabulous card with all the little layers and texture and, um, and the stamp collaging. So let's get started. I started with a piece of pool party cardstock, and this is my card base, and I'm going to be using the Timeless Textures stamp set for um, a lot of this. So you can see I use the little circles there and this image here, and then I also use the little splatter marks there from the Occasions Mini Catalog Timeless Textures. So the first image we're going to use is this one here, and I'm actually going to be stamping that all over the background in craft white card or ink and I just stamped it however I wanted there was no rhyme or reason or direction just sort of stamped it all over rotating the image around and moving it and just sort of filling in the gap and since it is white on pool party it doesn't show up like really distinctly so that's why it doesn't really matter how you stamp it you can rotate it around but yet it still gives that nice subtle background and of course since this is craft ink you will want to set that aside and allow it some time to dry or you can always use a setting one on your heat tool and speed that up so I'm just gonna set that aside and let it dry while we work on that main focal point here. So to create that, I use the label from the Lots of Label Frames. So you can see I have that here, and I just didn't use that last piece. So here's the full frame, and you can see that I just didn't cut that top part, or you could always cut the whole thing and then um, just snip off that top bubble piece. So that's how I created this little label that we'll be using. And the greeting that I chose was from the from the One Big Meaning stamp set. So that's this one here, and I'm going to use that fabulous big greeting there. And to get the two colors, I actually just colored it in with my markers. So I have Bermuda Bay and Delightful Dijon, and I'm going to use the fat tip end, and I'm just going to color in my image. And now that we have it all colored in, I'm just going to huff on it a little to make sure it's nice and moist <gasps> and stamp it down. And there we have the fabulous Thanks Kindly. Okay, so next we're going to use that same image that we used in the very beginning for our background and we're going to stamp that in Pool Party directly over the center of our image. And you can always stamp off once if you want a lighter look and then just straight on top. Fabulous. A lot of it, ha a lot of collaging has to do with finding that perfect color and just kinda, you know, stamping it however you wish. The next image we're going to use is the, uh, like the teacups uh, stains, and I'm using crumb cake, and this one I'm actually going to stamp off once and twice, and then the third time I'm going to stamp it on my project. Just like that. That's that perfect light shade that I'm going for. And then I'm using Tangerine Tango for the little dots. And I'm going to do those in full strength because I'm not going to cover anything up and I just want that little pop of color. Just like that. And there you have that fabulous little collage tag. Now a couple other things that I did. Here let's bring back in the original. A couple other things I did is I took my doily, so I took a paper tea lace doily and just cut off just a section of it. So you can actually get a lot of little sections um, for all your projects. And I just added that to the very top for a little bit of texture. So you can see it just adds just a little hint. Of course, I also added a couple pearls, some on the card, so, or on the tag, and some off. And then underneath, I used my Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere the tag on there. And I put some Pool Party Cotton Ribbon underneath as like little tags. Um, and you can always do them flat, or you could always cut them at a diagonal, or an angle. 
So I added those back there for just a little bit of texture and interest. And then I even added some Bermuda Bay Baker's Twine to that very top there um, just to kind of set that off and pull some of that bright blue back in. So I hope you try that out yourself. It's lots of fun and you can really do it anyway. There's no real right or wrong way to do it. So just have fun with it. Play with some colors, play with some different images and create an amazing product. I have had so much fun doing it. It is a little messy so it's a little outside my uh, normal realm of stamping but I've had a lot of fun with it. So let me know if you like collage stamping and what your favorite stamp sets are to use for it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And of course, I'll be posting more photos of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com. So be sure to check that out as well. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.